everybody, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to 31 Days of Tarot. Today is day 11 and we are looking at Oracle decks I want to work with more in 2019. This one was actually really easy for me for a couple of reasons that will become very clear very soon. <laughs> so just as a reminder, I will have the link to Ethany's um, introduction video with all of the prompts for 31 Days of Tarot this year in that video and she also has a blog post with all of the prompts as well but I will have the link for the video down below please do check that out Anthony Anthony puts this out every year for the last this, this is the fourth year so it's a pretty great series I really enjoy it and yeah check that out but now for my oracle decks okay so this is going to be pretty easy I'm going to start with my baby these are my soul cards one and two combined decks I have had this mixed deck it needs desperately to be edged for um, over 20 years at this stage. Um, I didn't get the matte version. I must have got the first mass produced versions, but I'm pretty sure I picked these up around 1996 or 1997, um, something along those lines. I, I've always used these cards in a particular way, in a very free form way of reading that tends to be extremely personal, um, very soul stirring. Often I use this deck the most for past life readings, which I've only ever done um, for very close friends and family. Um, I may start to open that up and see about offering some of those, this style of reading online on my Etsy shop, but I haven't decided yet. Um, it's something I would probably want to test first, but I have a tendency to not touch these except when I'm doing those readings. For starters, I would like to do those readings every once in a while. Peggy really enjoys getting these readings, and I enjoy giving them to her specifically because we've been able to draw some connections with her various lives, and it's just been really a beautiful experience all the way around. Um, but I'd like to maybe reach for this other times as well. So it's something I would definitely like to be more, to be quicker to pull for this year. Beautiful, beautiful cards. The backs have a slightly different color versus for the um so this one is one of soul cards one and it's got that blue back and then soul cards two still has on my copy anyway it still has a blue back but it's like a darker blue i might have those mixed up no i don't think i do i'm pretty sure that this is soul cards two and the lighter is soul cards one i'm pretty sure anyways these are really wonderful um very well loved cards mine are very like worn and floppy and lovely and i love them I have heard a rumor that a Soul Cards 3 is coming out, which is kind of amazing, and I don't know if I can, I don't, I don't know if I can handle a bigger deck than this. <laughs> I know what that sounded like. I meant deck, D-E-C-K. Hopefully YouTube closed captioning does that properly. We shall see. I've seen sometimes it doesn't, and that's a little frightening. The other deck that I want to work with more in 2019 is the Weaver's Oracle. This is new to my collection, but um, my plan this year, and I'm going to be drawing my first one soon. I've got this in a uh, labyrinthy bag. My plan is to, how funny that this card is on top actually. Somebody posted in a group recently looking for, they had this image as a print on their wall and they were looking for the source. And I was like, I think that's from the Weaver's Oracle. And it's like right on the bottom of my deck, which is so strange. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be working with one of these Weavers every dark moon, um, well for, for a cycle. So I'll pull it at the dark moon and work, work with her for that full moon, moon cycle until I reach another dark moon. That's my goal with this deck. Um, I didn't realize ever before, but this painting is, this is a painted weaver, but the skirt is actually fabric. And she writes about this actually in the, in the guidebook. But um, when you see the skirted, the skirted weavers, they're actually, here's another one. Those are actually fabric skirt. So this is a photo, it must be a photo of that painting. And these paintings, I believe, are originally very large. Like some of them, I think, are eight, eight feet tall. Like these are huge. She was working on ladders for some of these weavers. They're, these are incredible. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting to know this deck and working with these energies every dark moon. It just, that felt like the way that made sense for me to work with it. So I'm really looking forward to working with this one in 2019. Also in 2019, I would like to pull out and work with this Dark Mirror Oracle. I had got this anticipating to work with it over the Samhain season, 
and it, it didn't arrive until after Samhain, um, but it's very shadowy. Um, it's got this sort of shattered mirror look to all the cards, and that's definitely, I feel, the way it's meant to be worked with, or the way at least it wants to work with me. Um, and, you know, that's not always comfy cozy to think about, and so I haven't really pulled it out yet, in spite of the fact that I got it for that purpose. Um, I think I originally intended to work with this beside the Deviant Moon Tarot, and then I was like, why am I doing that to myself? That's too much bluntness all in one week. So I, I just didn't. I was like, I can't. I can't. It's too much. Um, but I need to pull this out and see what it has to say to me. And uh, that might be really, really interesting. I might, hmm, I might do some stuff at the Dark Moon with this one too. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I definitely need to give it a shot and see how it reads for me and how it treats me. But I have a feeling it's going to be like clue by four upside the head kind of... <laughs> kind of readings. We shall see. But I definitely need to play with that some more. This is a low Scarabeo deck and the artist is Laura Sava. Dark Mirror Oracle. I keep trying to flip the box upside down because literally the um, it almost looks like it's smeared but it's not. And lastly I want to work more with my Anna Mantra, Anna Mantra's Oracle. This is also new to my collection. And this one, um, I've already designed a reading um, all around chakras and self-care that is going to be going up into my Etsy shop soon. Um, if it's not already at the time that you see this video, it might be, because I am pre-recording this. Uh, so we will see, but this one is going to be playing a big role, I think, in my year this year. And that is, those are the main ones that I, yeah, those are the only ones I really wanted to talk about. Um, as you guys know, I rotate my decks, so most of my decks, all of my Oracle decks will get some use in 2019 regardless. These are just ones that I want to not shy away from, and I'm really especially looking forward to, or know that I'm going to be digging into. So that is it. I would love to hear what your Oracle decks are that you're looking forward to working with more in 2019. So comment down below, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss my future videos, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.